he was a, a great man of literature, mm. studied it at Leeds University. Right. And it was his knowledge of words that really helped him just have a great line. Yes. He was a funny man. He was genuinely funny, because you know a lot of comedians that, that you and I have met over the yeah. years, they're not that funny when they're sort of not on, no. if you like. Whereas he was genuinely kind of He was Barry Cryer quick, when he was he? on, yes. as, a, as opposed to off. He didn't need a right. pseudonym or anything like that. He was the man. And I he mean, was very much a background guy as well, wasn't oh, he? Yes, Writing uh, for people. He didn't. He wasn't that comfortable in the spotlight. No, he wasn't. I mean, he. I, I'm sorry, I haven't got a clue. I haven't a clue was from 1972. He was right, right. the way that, through that. And that I met him a couple of times in the corridors of Radio 4 when yeah. I worked on the Today programme. I mean, even Radio 4 was good in those days. Yeah. You know, it's got well, right well, it's, it's, you know what they've been doing today? Apparently today they've been telling people people how you can convince somebody nicely to wear okay. a mask uh, without sort of upsetting them. Yeah. I mean, come on, guys. Well, I don't think we need to now, do we? Here? Well, we know. Of course not. But that's quite good news. It in is many good ways. news. But going back to Barry, I think one of the great things he did, he stood in for, would it be Eddie Braben, who was um, Morecambe and Wise's main yes, script that's writer? Right. Yeah. And, and, and uh, he did two or three uh, of those, I think, with partners like Willie Rushton and others right. of Morecambe and Wise Christmas shows. He did. And, and that, he worked to with Kenny to Everett that. as well. So, oh, I mean, that's yeah. how versatile he was. He could go from yeah. Morecambe and Wise to Kenny Everett smoothly. But he had a great Yorkshire burr. Mm. And he, he went to Leeds Grammar as well as the university. And he just was a great guy. He was always happy. Right. And he was always fun. And he didn't try and tell you a stupid joke. No. He, that's it. It's he, about he, conversation, he was a proper isn't person. It? I remember sitting in the, the stalls in a preview of one of Lloyd Webber's uh, big theatrical yeah. productions in the West End, and I think it was somewhere over the rainbow. Mm. And uh, he was sitting behind and turned round, and uh, I was with Jane, my wife, there, and we turned round, and he sort of thought I was somebody else, right. I think, to start with. And then I said, Barry, we have met. Oh, I'm, I'm a sports broadcaster, you know. And he was, he was just fantastic. Yeah. He, just, he, he just makes you laugh, and he makes you feel good. Yes. He's one of those people that has energy, well, it's when and comedy, he doesn't suck it out of you. Right. He gives it to It's you. when comedy was comedy. And comedy was funny. You know, now, comedy is political. It's almost never, um, you know, about people that you're not supposed to make fun of. It's only yeah. ever about the people that you can make fun of. Yeah. So, you, know, you can make loads of jokes about Donald Don't Trump. Don't think he didn't have an edge. He had oh, a really no, I'm good sure he did. for the time. Sure, but the point is, is that all of that comedy's kind of disappeared now. Just stuff that makes yeah. you laugh, you know, like the kind of only fools and horses stuff and some of the dopey Morecambe and Wise stuff. It's yeah. just funny. Yeah. And, and even now it's funny. Yeah, and I, I still, I mean, he's been on an ever-present, hasn't he, over, gosh, how many years would that be then? Well, 60, yeah. I should think. Yeah, and he's been involved in so much. And so it's a sad day, obviously, as you say, yeah. for his family. But Barry Cryer, if you haven't, because there'll be people who don't really know who he is, no. younger people who don't understand what he did. And, and check him out, because it's uh, a thing of beauty. A wordsmith. 